What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, which helps service professionals, doctors, lawyers, accountants, coaches, create additional revenue streams, stop just trading time for dollars, We hold you accountable to achieve your biggest goals. And there is a step-by-step roadmap for this. You can go to rise25.com to learn more. It's run by myself and co-founder John Corcoran. Usually, Mike, I don't put in this last line, but you're a copywriter, so I have to put in like a call to action. I don't always do that, but I always say, make sure we have a three-word subject line and email template, which we use to get over 90% response rate. And this is like talking to the person. And so if you want that, just email support at rise25.com and we'll, we'll send that to you. All right. So today I'm very excited. We have Mike Pavlish and I'm really disappointed we haven't met before this moment. Uh, he's a top copywriter for nutritional supplements, health products, and information. Since 1988, his copywriting skills has helped us sell. I had to do a double take on this, Mike. $418 million worth of nutritional supplements and health products. And he's worked with Proactive, Jay Abraham, Gary Halbert, Campbell Soup, Phillips Publishing. And that's just a small, small bit of the many people he's worked with. And Mike, thanks for joining me. And the, the website is ProfitBoostersCopy.com. Thanks so much, My Mike. Pleasure. My pleasure, Jeremy. When you were junior high, high school, right, what did you want to be when you grew up? I say that because I'm sure you didn't say, I want to be a direct response copywriter. <laughs> <laughs> What did you Uh-oh. want to do? Uh oh, I did. You did? No way. I get uh, what? I I would get magazines like Popular Mechanics. I had no yeah. interest in the Popular Mechanics stuff. Yeah. Uh, I wonder how it first started. Maybe comic books, but there was ads in the back like how well, to get space rich. Space ad mail. type of thing. Yeah, how yeah. to get rich in mail order. I was a kid entrepreneur. I was a kid. You who were at fourteen. I had five paper routes, but I only did one of them. The other four, mm. I had other kids delivering papers for me and I'd make two cents on every paper they delivered. So I was a little kid entrepreneur. But I, so great. I always was interested in money. So when I saw how to, I, I, I was, what the angle that brought me in was mail or how to get rich in your own business or mail order. But I was born with the knack. I would read, my parents told me that I would rewrite ads from magazines when I was 13, 14, really? 15 years old. Wow. So I was just born with uh, that desire for some reason. That's amazing. It's the first time <laughs> I've ever heard that, actually. Yeah. Why couldn't it have been? <laughs> That's why great. Couldn't it have been, why couldn't I have been trying to come up with a solution to, for cancer or something, you know? <laughs> well, but the thing is, someone else is doing that, but someone else has to be sold for, on that solution. You know what I mean? Like until they're sold on that solution for cancer or whatever it is, they're not buying it and they're not getting it. And that's why I think when I hear the dark arts, you know, when you believe in a product and the product is good and it works, whatever way you can get, I mean, obviously ethical way to get someone to consume that product because it's going to help them is yeah. good. You know what I mean? That's right. So, so I do think there's a junction there. So, yeah. And there's so many great products out there that are marketed so poorly. It's a shame. So take me through your entrepreneurial journey then. So like you had paper routes. What was, because right now you have probably other, I'm sure based off of this conversation, you have other endeavors besides just copywriting, right? Yeah, I've had had businesses and whatnot. So what else uh, is interesting that besides the copywriting piece that you probably also do five other things? Uh, not right now. Not right I've now. You're businesses. focused. I've sold businesses. Oh, you sold them. I'm just, I'm just, just doing copywriting for natural health products, and right now. What's been an interesting one in the past that you had? Um, I had a uh, natural health supplement business that I started, and we got it 
uh, was sold and I got it sold in um, 36,000 stores, all the CVSs, all the wow. Walgreens, all the Walmarts. And when I look back on it, two things I remember. One was it gave me a heart attack, honestly. <laughs> Why? Because of the stress. What was stressful? It, it ramped up from zero to a huge seven-figure success, like uh, literally almost overnight. And I was juggling suppliers and chairs and ramping and financing and this and that and people and hiring and firing. And it was chaotic. And next thing you know, I'm getting a stent put in, you know, at the Cleveland mm. Clinic wow. from a heart attack. Yeah. Really? Holy cow. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing I remember from that experience was I went down to Bentonville, Arkansas, where Walmart's headquarters are. <laughs> and I'm lucky enough, fortunate enough to be able to sell my product to Walmart in, in, in really? you know, Bentonville, Arkansas. Holy yeah. crap. I don't, I'll never forget that. It just, it's, you know, it's like a historic thing, you know? So that was fun. I don't know what you can say because probably the person you sold to, there's probably some non-disclosures or whatever, but can you say, I want to, I'm just curious of, cause you could have chosen any niche, any product, and you probably did a lot of research ahead of time. I'm curious of what you chose, whether you can say it or not, but the genre, um, as much as you can talk about why you chose it and what you ended up choosing. Yeah, it was a, it was a natural that pretty much all I could say was a natural health supplement. That doesn't that's, narrow it down. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, yeah. That's about all I could say. I sold it to a company in California. That's all I can say. Can you say if it was targeting more men or women? Like, I'm both. curious, both. So were you looking for something that was more mass market? Because obviously you could go on the prostate, right? Which is just men. Were you looking, what were you looking at? What were the criteria you were looking at? Or like anyone starting a like a health supplement or maybe an info business what were you, the criteria you were looking at to make sure that you obviously had the highest likelihood of success that's a great question i was just talking to somebody about that uh there's there's certain types of health products that seem to do better than others and i'll name the top maybe five or seven then unfortunately i have to kind of run no worries okay uh the top Products. We'll leave people hanging, so <laughs> they have to check out ProfitBoosterCopy.com. <laughs> that, you know, and this is held pretty consistently now for you know twenty five years. Um, these are this is for health supplements and and natural health um, publications, which you know are reports, newsletters, any information product or supplement and the areas that I would start with if I was advising somebody are and I'll just name them in no particular order yeah would be joint pain mm -hmm. um, blood sugar vision Memory, memory loss. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sure we have a lot of female listeners. I can't think of a more delicate word uh, than potency. Male potency. Yeah, male potency. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty delicate. That's good, Mike. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, could be a lot. Less delicate, right? <laughs> I'm sure you've written a lot <laughs> less delicate. Right. Uh, so the, these I write, I've written, you know, tons of big winners in, and in, and in, in there's. Let me give you a few more here. Yeah. Joint pain, blood sugar, vision, memory loss. Um. Uh, weight loss. Um, Anti-aging, which I know it's general, but 
some of the products that fit under anti-aging are resveratrol. Um, now you have the um, stem cell precursors. Mm. There's when, when, when good clinical studies come out, maybe one new product a year or two that fit under anti-aging, those are always good. So let's see, I've given seven. Okay, so there's seven. Let me try to, on this fly, try to think of one or two more. I think there's a, well, I know you've, in my research with you. Prostate's was, always good. I don't prostate, think we can have it. Yeah. But that's, that's for men only. Yeah. What about heart-related stuff? Oh, there you go. That's That's a perennial winner all the time. Mike, I, I am going to stop you because I know you have to go and you're being generous with your time. And uh, if not, this would go on for five hours and we just would be talking about – I could go on for all day talking about your um, <laughs> your copywritten stories and, and what the campaign. So I really – Mike, this has been awesome. I really appreciate it. Everyone should check out ProfitBoostersCopy.com. Is there anywhere else we should send people online? No? Just right there? That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Check out a site. And if you have questions and you really, you know, Mike really only works with really high level companies. And I know that some of the stuff you talk about, people pay a lot of money to get in consulting. So I appreciate the information and the things you shared. This has been fantastic. Mike, hopefully we'll not one day meet in person. And I want to, you know, thank you again. My pleasure, Jeremy. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out.